Job chapter 30 verse 30. My skin is black upon me. My bones are burned with heat. Y'all hear that? So this person Job, who was a, a prophet under under the name of Yahweh Shah going out, he was a prophet, he was black. So everybody in this Bible, all these special people, this audience that God is talking to, these people are his color, his color, his color, your color, our color. They're not, they're not these so-called white people. So now y'all know this. Y'all take this home, man, and y'all look and y'all go over and take those cards, scan that QR code, and we got videos in there, right? So y'all can learn. Yeah. So look at this right here. This is the book Undeniable. Full color evidence of the black and the white in the Bible. So Jesus, like Jesus, look at that. Mary, all those people were black, or so called black. These are the original papers of the book of the book. Before they whitewashed all the images, these were the original pictures. So now y'all know. We ain't gonna hold y'all. Y'all beautiful sisters, y'all have a great day. Hey, be, be safe, okay?
So check this out. This is the book of Chronicles. And before you go into it, I want to say this. This is also how you know the Dedesor or you know the Issachar? Because get, get past on Mexico, what do you have? A whole city called Issachar de Matamoros. So why would y'all put a city and name it after that if y'all were never Issacharites? That's because y'all knew who y'all were. Let's read that. This is the book of First Chronicles chapter 12, verse 32. And the children of Issachar. The children of Issachar, right? Which were men that had understanding of the times. Men that which had understanding of the times. So when you go into the history, los aztecas tenían que. The calendars, they podían leer las estrellas and say, this is the time to uh, harvest, this is the time to now sow. To know what Israel ought to do. To know what Israel ought to do. So now when y'all were doing that, y'all were saying, okay, now today is the time for all of us to have a party. Or today's not the day for morning because y'all would look at the stars and tell the time. The heads of them were 200 and all their brethren were at their command. Now let me get that real quick. One more. Can I get one more for y'all? Let me get Genesis 49. So now, okay, a lot of people, y'all may got, uh, get mad, but don't get mad. So we all are one family, so called blacks, Hispanics, and natives. We all have symbols, right, within those flags. Y'all ever watch like Game of Thrones or old movies with like pink shit and they all come with a flag and they got a symbol on the flag? So everybody has a flag. Your symbol is a donkey, but why? Because understand something, el burro, aunque muchos dicen que el burro es un animal estúpido e incorrecto, el burro es actually inteligente y es que el burro is one of the hardest working animals ever. Now let me ask y'all this. I'm a so-called Dominican. Who work harder than the Mexicans? Well, only a Mexican could work harder than the Mexican. So go ahead and read that. This is the book of Genesis, chapter 49, verse 14. So y'all been in church, right? Oh yes. Did they ever read this to y'all? What I just read y'all in First Chronicles. Did y'all ever hear that? All right, now let's read this. This is the book of Genesis, chapter 49, verse 14. Issachar is a strong ass. So it's a strong ass. You're a strong people. Crouching down between two burdens. Crouching down between two burdens. So when you look at Mexico, where y'all in? Between two burdens. North America, South America. Read. He saw that rest was good. So when you go into that, that he saw he was resting was good. When we got here to the Americas, your forefathers went into the land of Mexico now, and y'all had a vision. And the vision was what? An eagle grabbing up a snake. What's on y'all's flag now? What's on the flag? You got it on you, don't you? An eagle grabbing what? A snake. Uh-huh. And that the land was pleasant. And thou his shoulder to bear. And became a servant and to tribute. And y'all became servants to tribute. Now y'all gotta pay money not only to the Spaniards, but to the English people here. So this is how you could tell that y'all the children of Israel. And not only that, but the children of Issachar too. It says, uh, go into Zebulun. Go into the children of Zebulun. This is how you know y'all Issachar and that we're the same people. Chapter 49, uh -huh. Genesis 49, verse 13. Zebulon shall dwell at the haven of the sea. Zebulon shall dwell at the haven of the sea. So that'll be like, uh, you know, your Hondureños, gente from El Salvador. They're close to the water, right? Yeah. Read. He shall be for a haven of ships. For a haven of ships. What do you have? The Panama Canal, right? Read. His border shall be unto Zidon. Unto Zidon. So now, also, that goes into what? The Zebulonites will do what? Mexico holds in a lot of who? Hondureños, a lot of people from South and Central America. People from Central America, they try to get here. Who do they have to go through? Issachar. See, so what we out here to do is wake our people up. How old are y'all? I'm 21. Yo, 23. Okay, so yes, you say, 21, yo tengo 23 años. So our age, they teach us nothing but that we just niggas and spits. That we're at the bottom of the bottom. Yeah. But when we start looking at that history, what does it say? It says y'all had a talent to read time. What does that mean? Y'all were special people. And y'all still are special people. Because who could make food like y'all? Who could dance mariachi like y'all? Who makes mariachi like y'all? Nobody. Let me get Deuteronomy 7 and 6. I'm going to give y'all uh, like two more if that's okay with y'all. Okay. And uh, Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Okay, come on, read that. Book of Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6. For thou are a holy people so, to the Lord thy God. Y'all know what the word holy means? 
right? It means separate. It means set apart. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people. So God chose y'all to be a special people, right? Unto himself. Unto himself. So if I say, if you say this flag, that flag is special to me, right? That means that flag is special to you, and it's not special to me. Read. Above all people. And above all people. Go ahead. That are upon the face of the earth. So the Mexican man, the so-called Mexican woman, y'all better than everybody on the face of the earth. How does that make y'all feel? Pretty amazing. It makes you feel good, right? Or crazy because what? Till this day, what are they doing to the Mexicans? They still have y'all in what? Cages. They still rape the women and beat the children. They still kill y'all. So y'all now, so y'all read in Genesis, y'all heard in Genesis that y'all now paid unto tribute. So now you're paying money to other groups of people and they're still treating you like dog shit. So who, who does that make this thing? That makes us the children of Israel. Would y'all take a fly? Yeah, I got it right here. Okay, come So whenever y'all got a chance, look it up. We got uh, YouTube, we also got social media. Y'all can hit us up if y'all have questions. We're here to enlighten all people and wake us up, you feel me? They're not going to tell y'all that. The Christian church and the Catholic church, and I've been, I grew up in both, Catholic and Christian. They're never going to tell you the Ustedes de Son Hijos de Israel. They're never going to tell you the Ustedes de Son Hijos de Issachar. Entonces, nosotros tenemos que hacer que? Los estudios. They always say, if you want to hide something from the nigga, what you do, y'all, do what? Put it in a book. So y'all have a good day. I ain't trying to hold y'all up. I know y'all want to party. Y'all know what Robert Park is? Where's your husband? I told you we were. Yeah, why? 
I was just asking, sis. That's all because I would not let my woman, who is a married woman, get fucked from my side dress like that. That's all, sis. But I love you according to Christ, okay? And I ask you to repent, sis. All praise. Your mother's Muslim? Well, if your mother's Muslim, she would know to follow the Torah. That's all praise to the Most High, sis. Come back and repent, right? All right, sis. Hey, we love you, sis, okay? All right? That, that was love right there, sis. You feel me? No love? So cool. Can I can I get a couple scriptures real quick for y'all? All right, cool. Hey, let me get let me get a Bible real quick. Can I get a Bible real quick? No, you good, King. Um, couple scriptures for the sisters that they want to know who they are, right? So what we normally do is we go and identify certain things that happen to our people on earth, right? So Deuteronomy 28 and 15 tells the children of Israel what happened to them in the last days, right? They say, right, this is on point, right? She said, by the curses, right? That's right. So Deuteronomy 28 and 15 tells the children of Israel what happened to them, right? The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 15. But, it's, but it shall come to pass. Meaning this is going to happen as it's written, go ahead. And thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Right, how people don't like listening to the voice of, to the, words of the Bible, go ahead. To observe to do all his commandments. So we were supposed to do all the commandments written up in this book of the law, 613, go ahead. And his statutes, uh -huh. which I command thee this day. Go ahead. That all these curses. All these blessings. Yeah. All these curses. So would you say our people are cursed in these cities or blessed? We're cursed, right? All praise to the most high, right? Let me get the 16 verse. You said 16? Time. So this is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 16. Go ahead. Cursed shalt thou be in the city. Our people are cursed all up and down the cities of Raleigh, North Carolina, all in the Caribbean islands. Go ahead. Cursed shalt thou be in the field. All in Chicago, we was cursed, right? Go ahead. Cursed shall be thy basket. Cursed shall be thy basket, right? Let me get verse 54. Let me show you what's going on in Chicago, right? Let me get verse 54 for the people real quick. Verse 54. Huh? So that the man that is tender among you. At one point in time, our people love one another, right? We treated each other with a certain care for the village. Go ahead. 
and very delicate. Yeah, very delicate yeah. towards our women. We treated our women with care. We protected our precious women. Go ahead. Right. And if I shall be evil towards his brother. So when you look at Chicago and all of the crime, all of the black on black crime, the Bible is prophetic and it's true. It said that your eyes gonna be evil towards your brother, therefore black on black crime, right? You will kill your own brother. Let me get Hosea chapter four and verse four, right? Right? Let me, this, is, this is what happens to our people in the last days. Go ahead. Hosea chapter four, verse four. It makes it out real good for the people. Matter of fact, let me get verse one. All right, let me show you what's going on real quick. Hey, sisters, come here to the word of the Lord. The book of Hosea, chapter 4, verse 1. Go ahead. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord this day. Go ahead. Ye children of Israel. So y'all are the children of Israel. You're receiving our information this day. Right? Go ahead. For the Lord hath a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. So the Lord got a problem with his people because they don't want to listen to his word. Go ahead. Because there is no truth. So there's no truth. Our people don't like the truth. They despise the wisdom from on high. Go ahead. No mercy. You know what? So there's no mercy amongst the people, right? So there's no mercy in the cities of Chicago, right? There's no mercy in the Caribbean hey, Islands, go ahead. There's no okay. knowledge of God. And there's no true knowledge of God on the people of the land, it's okay. go ahead. I got, I got the land. Go ahead. By I'm swearing and lying. By swearing and lying to the people, go ahead. And killing and stealing. And they're killing and stealing all over the planet Earth, go ahead. And committing adultery. And they're committing adultery. Sitting and sleeping with brothers' wives, right? Go ahead. They break out. They break out and do what? And blood touches blood. Black on black crime. Gang violence all in the shores of America. Go ahead. Therefore, uh -huh. shall the land mourn. Therefore, the Lord, the land is mourning today. Go ahead. And everyone that dwelleth uh -huh. therein go ahead. shall languish. Shall languish. Go ahead. With the beasts of the field. Let me get verse 6. Uh, book of Hosea chapter 4 verse 6. Go ahead. My people are destroyed. Who? My people are destroyed. So everybody ain't destroyed. Only God's people are destroyed. Go ahead. For lack of knowledge. For the lack of knowledge. Go ahead. Because thou has rejoiced and rejected knowledge. So because we rejected knowledge, what did our Lord do? I will right reject thee. The Lord has to reject us because we rejected his wisdom. Go ahead. And, and that thou shalt be no priest to me. And that's why we lost as a people. We lost our priesthood. Right? Go ahead. Seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God. All because we forgot the laws of our God. Let me get Hosea 5 and 15 now. Watch this. The book of Hosea chapter 5 verse 15. Go ahead. For I will go and return to my place. So our heavenly father returned and he left the children of Israel for our disobedience. Go ahead. So they acknowledge their offense. So God only wants our people to acknowledge their offense. Breaking his law, statutes, and commandments. And, and our sisters dressed them modestly in the last days. We have to clean y'all up. Or we won't be protected in the last days. We want our sisters to be protected in the last days. Let me get Isaiah 13 and 16. Watch this. Right? This is what's going to come on these shores of America if our sisters don't clean themselves up. Go ahead. Put the Isaiah chapter 13, verse 16. Go ahead. Now children also uh -huh. shall be dashed to pieces. They said our children are going to be dashed to pieces. That's what's going on all over the shores of America. Go ahead. Before their eyes, uh -huh. their houses shall be spoiled. In the houses, our houses are getting ready to be destroyed. America's going to be destroyed by thermonuclear fire in the last days. Go ahead. And their wives ravaged. And their wives what? Ravaged. And their wives ravaged. Why? Because our women don't know how to dress. Our women don't know how to clean up in the last days. God told the women to be modest and put on modest apparel, right? First Timothy 2 and 9 tell our women to clean up and dress modestly so that these things don't happen in these prophecies, all right? So y'all are Israelites and our sisters got to come back and repent in the last days, okay, sister? Alright, that's our information. Alright, all praise. Alright, look us up online, okay, sisters? All praise to them all. We love y'all, sisters. Calm y'all, sisters. Calm y'all, man. Go out of your house, 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 I'm talking.